Create stunning GIF animations with Animate Diff. Learn how to use this powerful tool for stable diffusion and unleash your creativity. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you Animate Diff, a tool that allows you to create amazing GIF animations with stable diffusion, the best text-to-video AI tool available right now. The Animate Diff GitHub page is a source where you can find a lot of information and examples of how the animations are supposed to look. For example, you can create realistic videos with it, or a cartoon style. At the moment, the cartoon style works the best. So in this tutorial, I will be showcasing on how to use that. A good checkpoint for this cartoon style is Toon U. You can download the latest version from the Civit AI website and place it in your Stable Diffusion Models folder. Next, we need the Animate Diff Motion Model. This is required to use the extension. You can download this model from the Hugging Space website. Currently, there are two models available, V14 and V15. I found that the V14 model works way better, but I recommend downloading both so you can try them out yourselves. Place these files in the Model folder within the following path. Stable Diffusion, Extensions, SD Web UI Animate Diff. To get started, you don't need to download anything from the GitHub page. Instead, go to your Stable Diffusion Extensions tab, click on Available, then Load From and search for Animate Diff in the list. Click on Install to add the extension. If you can't find it in the search, make sure to uncheck Hide Extensions with Tags up Script and it will appear. After the extension has been installed, go to the Installed tab and click on Apply and Restart UI. Once you've installed the extension, it will be available at the bottom of the Stable Diffusion interface. To use it, Click on the Animate Diff option, and the interface should fold out. I will list the settings that I recommend. Set the motion module to V14. I recommend at least 8 frames for good quality. If you use a lower value, the output won't be as nice. Frames per second adjust the playback speed. I recommend at least 8. Don't forget to check Enable to use the extension. Now for the stable diffusion settings with the Tune U checkpoint. You can experiment with these settings and find out what works best for you. Tune you suggest a clip skip of two or higher. For the prompt, it's recommended to include best quality and masterpiece for better results. In the negative prompt, it's suggested to include worst quality, low quality, and letterboxed. This can be different for each checkpoint, so make sure to check the recommended settings on the Civit AI website. The sampling method is very important. I recommend DDM because it's one of the fastest sampling methods out there, but you can use anyone you like. For the sampling steps, you want to use at least 25. The higher the better, I will use 40. I want a square GIF, so I will leave the width and height at 512 by 512. I will set the CFG scale to 8, because that is what TuneU recommends for a better output. Just stick with the default settings for the rest of the configurations. What you can do before generating your GIF is to generate some images and use the seed from the image you like the best. That way, you have a bit of control over the output of the GIF. Now you're ready to generate amazing animated GIFs powered by AI. While the quality of the output might vary, Animate Diff is still a powerful tool that can produce amazing animations. Try experimenting with different settings and models to achieve the best results for your projects. For a more in-depth tutorial on Animate Diff, visit the link in the description. Thank you for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one.